Hello, my name is Ben Lovett from Communion and you're watching Artisan News. In 2013, Mumford & Sons multi-instrumentalist Ben Lovett is making headway with Communion, a platform that helps music artists. They recently helped close the CMJ Festival and were also featured in many of the summer music festivals, including an event at Lollapalooza with Ben, Jonathan Levin, and Mike Luba. Ben talks about what Communion is and how it has grown. Communion was something that um, was started by myself, uh, a friend, a musician, Kevin Jones, and a producer. Uh, Ian Grimble about um, sort of 2006 I think we had it so early 2006 we're just in our eighth year now and we are um, initially and foremost uh, a promoter um, we promote, promote club shows and showcases for aspiring and unsigned artists all over the world and now we're in 25 cities which is great um, kind of started originally in London and then grew and grew and grew but then over time we've become other things and we're also a um, record label and a music publisher um, really just for the music that we just can't see not get released into the world. He said that the idea for communion actually predates his time in Mumford and & Sons and at one point involved Ben Howard and Laura Marling in trying to fill rooms and create a healthy scene for bands to develop an audience. Before Mumford & Sons, Kevin Jones and I were in a band called Hot Rocket and it wasn't going great and we were trying to get ahead and we were sort of playing to 30 people when we when we could every couple of weeks and those were the same 30 people and most of them were just our friends or people we work with and it never really changed up we never really had a shot and so we we really wanted to create an environment where there was a bigger group of people going to the gigs um, it started as a residency for our bands and then we booked lots of other music that we liked around it and I think what happened was people agreed with our tastes and the, the rooms filled regularly and people were like you know thanks for putting on those bands you know we'd have example DJing and Laura Marlin playing guitar or we'd have Ben Howard opening up or you know so a whole bunch of different people um, I remember one night the Holloways came and played and they were huge in London at the time and it was just in this little club. So yeah, that was, that was like the initial impetus behind it was just, just actually promoting a gig and filling a room for our band and for our friends' bands. He talks about the growth of communion and goals for the future. Well, so this month we've just launched um, seven new markets. Um, in America so there's now places like Bloomington Indiana and Madison Wisconsin that have these same monthly shows um, the plan is to keep keep growing it keep doing the best we can to make sure the rooms are full and if we can replicate what we did initially all over the world then then it's a success and in and amongst doing that I think we really want to try and release some great beautiful music into the world and some good quality kind of packaging and well produced and well mastered material really well written um, and that's going to you know just just doing it all at the same time and growing it all at the same time communion works with an impressive roster of artists such as edward sharp and the magnetic zeros caveman willie mason deep valley and gautier Go to communionmusic.co.uk for more information.